Meanwhile, the Kaduna State Governor, Ubasani, has reiterated that his administration has zero tolerance for marginalization and discrimination. He promised to run inclusive government for the good people of the state. Sani gave the assurance at a reflection meeting, strategies for achieving sustainable peace and social harmony organized by Kaduna State Peace Commission. He assured that equity and justice will reign supreme. Also, the Executive Vice Chairman, Kaduna State Peace Commission, Dr. Saleh Momale, said many of the conflict-prone areas are no longer witnessing violence. He urged state and federal governments to use modern technology and human development to address the challenges. A key challenge facing the states is the activity, the various activities of criminal gangs who are orchestrating various degrees of violence in the cities. So the difficulties associated with controlling the activities of these armed groups, we amplify the call on the federal and state governments to devote sufficient financial resources, technology, and human capital to bring these activities to an end. No peace building and then addressing any crises amongst people is one of the key elements of uh, uh, peace building and uh, equally uh, the issue of conflict resolution we should champion the cause of you know bringing people together uh, you know to address challenges as against you know taking arms or even going important and I think it is uh, advisable that leaders should always try to address issues uh, not before them. We need to be guided by those potents which in Sanskrit is described as Satyagraha, which is truth and fairness. So long as there is no truth and fairness in our pursuit for peaceful coexistence, we we'll only end up in the vicious cycle. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.